-hmm. So what we've got coming up here is um, a little video we recorded a couple of months ago for... That's let it roll. Yeah, let, let it roll. roll. Um, it. So what we've got on the left is a nice little reference image. And on the right, we've got our actual in-game version of... It's not a potato. <laughs> I saw that. Um, <laughs> is one of our sort of early versions of an ice world. Mm. So you can mm. sort of see... Whoop. <laughs> yeah. You've got these nice little icy planes that the camera's flying across here. And you can sort of see as you zoom out how these make up all the different cracks and the different plates on the world. So these are, we call them Europa lines is the scientific word for them. Because um, you can see them on Europa. Very technical. Yeah. So you can see here how, how all the plates are being built up. And you've got all this nice shading and lighting. And it's, it's a spherical planet, but it's not a perfect sphere because it's still quite small. Yeah, so this planet was around um, 800 kilometer radius. Uh, so it, it uh, still is kind of, it, it's not as large as Europa that you're seeing on the left hand side. Uh, but we're using the, the reference there to, to start to get an idea as to what kind of features that we should expect to be putting onto these planets. Um, because we kind of want to use that as our, uh, so th this is what we want it to look like. And then we actually can and, and try and put that out onto all the different planet surfaces that are of the right classification. Yeah. So you can see the sort of, um, we'll talk about it a bit later, but the colour brown there, that's coming from the minerals in the world. So different planets with different builds up and different minerals, yeah. you get different colours. So you can sort of identify some of the content of the planets at distance. Yeah. Um, yeah. So on to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is one of our sort of rock planets, as the video says. Um, so you can see this is completely different. It's sort of peppered with craters. Mm. Um you've got these nice mountains you've got all these different materials and as we get closer you're going to see some of the mountains coming up some of the crater deformation that you can see uh, i'm going to point out these craters are ellipsoid we fix that you'll see in some later videos that they're proper circles so yeah you get some real sort of work in progress stuff here so you can see as you fly down we've got this little popping which some of the call it patch lighting which is how we generate the lighting on the surface but you can see as we approach this sort of crater here we're going to go over in a second. Yes. Yeah, so can I say, what, what stage of development is this in the videos that you were seeing before, the, the first video? What stage of development was that? Was that recent or...? So this is about three months old, two, three months old. The video that you saw last week is about a week old, but it's one of the smaller planets, so it doesn't have all the features that this one does. So you can sort of see here a bit more of the materials. As you come over, you've got this sort of rocky surface that's been revealed inside the crater. Mm -hmm. So this is all being generated using science and really cool tech that we'll go to a bit later but mm. you can see that basically where the craters hit it's blasted all the earth and the dirt away it's revealed some of the bedrock uh underneath here yeah uh and then it's just going to pull all the way back out i think so these first couple of videos th this one was also filmed over john's shoulder is that right is that yeah right? so yeah. this isn't just fraps or anything this is this is kind of um video over my shoulder 